Adamus. Purchase the camouflage ability. Fair enough. That I objective menu that. is kind of a spoiler. Like, yeah, I want to get is. the ability and be like, oh my god, camouflage! I don't want to, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't tell you what, what it is. It's just, it will, like it should say purchase question mark question mark yeah. question mark or something. This is gonna be difficult. Feel it in my bones. I can handle it. Right. Fortunately for you, I was able to pick up a few useful items and make some modifications to my old faithful repodactyl here. Feed her enough cloakies and she'll give you camouflage ability. Camouflage? Oh. Well that's so cool! <laughs> It That's is. Me. That's me. That's me. Camouflage. Can can you pull the exact same face for scale? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, use camouflage to fool the trapper. You can obtain a camouflage upgrade from that. Okay, but what if I don't? What happens then? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm okay. not sure what's scarier: the thing happening or the the reaction to it. Sort of became the same thing, mm -hmm. and it frightened me too. <laughs> Mate. Uh, I would love some camouflage from you, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> if, if that's totally alright with you, I'll, I'll take some. Just burn me to a crisp. I love how he's just like, I, I like, he... He's just like, camouflage, <laughs> yeah, that's it. He, 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 his reaction's like, that's it. No smash. But no, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like, he, he, he like, ascends, just like, this is, this is gonna be a big deal, and then he returns, just like, nah, no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> It, quite yeah. frankly, nothing's changed. This is it. This is why I should buy a PS5. Not impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scaler's <laughs> not impressed by the PS5. So, I'm getting Xbox, mate. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, so is, we... it, is, it, is it gradual? Oh, wait, it crashes the game. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Oh my god, can you imagine if the game froze from like one <laughs> diddy thing that, like that? That'd be... Genuinely, oh, why am I scaling a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This this oh. great this game has a great sense of yeah, oh, I believe, baby. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I almost said it by accident. I was gonna say this game had a great sense of scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, it does. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh no, I died. Ah, oh. man, that's fucking awesome. I'm doing it again. <laughs> I screwed up a bit, but man, that's so good. This is so great. Like you, you very rarely see camera angles like this in games. It's brilliant. Yeah. And it's impressive. They're not afraid to show the entire level geometry. Like, because usually people hide things under the cracks, like, you know, you got to yeah. make sure that, like, okay, we can save space by not having anything here, but this game's just like, no, you can see it, we don't Yeah, care. like, they have oh. things that are hyper-detailed, but, like, you're indoors, or it's like a street. Yeah. But it's it's a hyper-detailed street, so you sort of, you don't realise, but... Where here, you, you can see it all. Like, the yeah. skybox may not be the most impressive thing you've ever seen, but who really cares when yeah. you're not looking at that at this particular moment? You're very much focusing on the platforming challenge. What did some of the reviews say? Like, go out, oh, go to maybe go to Wikipedia and see okay. what like like people said about it. Because I I'm I just, I don't understand how people didn't like this. I I genuinely I want to I how did I how did maybe I get it was just poorly advertised. Time? Maybe it was poorly advertised and um I don't know. Okay, reception. Scalar received average reviews on all platforms, according to the review aggregation website Metacritic. While receiving praise for its high production values and gameplay, some reviewers criticised it for having an unexciting plot or formulaic design. It's a 3D platformer, it's not Shakespeare! <laughs> what, what are you expecting? They're expecting to be like... <laughs> expecting some like deep political philosophical... It's, it's a 3D platform for the PS2! If it's fun, it's fun! <laughs> I, I thought this was like something, I thought this was like a recent habit, but this habit's been around for, for years it seems. Yeah, sadly. 
The plot is unexciting. Like, mate, it's a seven plus. <laughs> I say that, but like, some, like, uh, some games How did like... I get past this thing? Oh, okay. How did I do it the first time? Do you, oh, do you have to be camouflaged while... I, I'm trying, it won't let me. Oh. It won't let me while I'm on here. I can only do it on the ground, I think. But I don't I got past it the first time before I died, so I don't understand how I did it. Do you have to be in the air as you're passing? Maybe. I so maybe you ha might have to... I will give it a whirl. Jump! Yeah, there we yes. go. Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah, let's not descend. I know what it's about. I know, I know the program. What do I do now? <laughs> oh, you get down here. Oh, that's cool. There wasn't a chicken nugget there that I missed, right? <laughs> Oh, this is awesome! Like, this is super ratchet and clank territory here. I've got to be very careful not to die. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Oh, See, what this is, is that? why this is why I never gave away my PS2. Like, oh no! <laughs> this, <laughs> like, just just cop this game cheap on the internet. Yeah. And then, you know, when my cousin's kids come round, they have something to play, and you know. Yeah. <laughs> And they do that typical, like... This is oh like my a, this god! Is just a typical older relative thing, like, you're stuck on a level. Yep, let me do it! <laughs> that, it's my turn now, I'll show you how it's done. Oh? Oh, great job, oh, activist. You've whoa. poisoned the environment. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! It's a totally different level now. What? Oh, it's cold! I don't associate That's... green with the cold, but I guess it's... Yeah, it's an alien it's planet, cool. I guess. It's cool. Yeah, this is really creative and quite pretty. Have actually. the enemies changed? Oh, maybe. Oh, look at these guys are camouflage. Huh. I wonder if they were always camouflage or if this is a new thing. Ah, stop it. I'm trying to punch you in your, your camouflaged face. Yeah, I think they're all sort of. Oh, no, no, you're not camouflaged. I thought they all were for a second. Oh, this is just really interesting. Man. I, oh, what killed me? <laughs> oh, that's an enemy. Oh, that's clever. Because they usually... Yeah, that's deceptive. Huh. Stop it. Oh. I'm trying to blow you up. Yeah, this game doesn't mess around. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was really interesting. I like that they, uh... Like, like you've seen, you see games where like, oh yeah, we're trying to trick you, but it looks like an enemy you've seen before, but it's not. Uh, that really got me. <laughs> that wasn't, I didn't see that coming at all. So, well played. If, if you're, if you're a respectable developer of games, you are obligated to, to troll people. Yes. There's, like, that's always a bit of fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Being, getting trolled in a game is actually... Fun for whatever reason. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's like a uh, prank. It's like when your dad pulls a prank on you. Hollow funny. Knight does it really well. <laughs> I'm not gonna say how, but it's really great. It's uh, it, it it definitely gets you the first time. Like, oh no, little bit lag, little no, come on, ah oh, man, how do I stop you without getting obliterated? <laughs> Uh, how do I get past you? Can I just make this? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. I am glad that I've got enough electrical energy. What do you think was the, the point when sort of 3D platformer with like interesting characters uh. stopped being a thing? And then it all just boiled down to, oh, it's just Mario now. At what point, what do you think was like the... Oh, that was a weird visual effect. Um, yeah. Hmm. Because, I don't like, know. Sony try it with, like, 
um, knack. I almost called it crank. That's not what it's called. It's called knack. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, knack was a bit boring, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame, because it probably did have potential. Because there's this. There's There was Vex, which I don't know a lot about. Yeah, I don't know much about Vex. Oh, that does not give you a lot of time. What other ones were... What is this category that we... It's like a 3D platformer with with quirky character that only had one game. Mm. It's, an, it's a nice little subgenre. Oh, well, I guess Billy Hatcher's in that vein as well. Mm. Now, yeah, I know I Billy Hatcher too. It wasn't a really good platformer though. I just I just liked rolling eggs over people. <laughs> it was it was not a great platformer. Like it had dodgy depth perception, and you know when you scale a jumps, you can see his shadow. Yeah. Well, um, Billy Hatcher is apparently a ghost because he doesn't have a shadow, <laughs> so you don't know where you're falling. Yeah, that's unfortunate, I guess. Like, but it that, really that makes the platforming a lot harder. Yeah, it wasn't really designed around. I guess it, one of the last one, like specifically 3D or platformers in general. Um. Okay. Platformers in general like, because in, it's indies indies picked up like a lot of the slack that was left behind. Uh, like stuff like when 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 platformers were starting to die or become less mainstream, stuff like Meat Boy or V V V V V and yeah. whatnot sort of came into the spotlight um, and actually did really well off of the back of the fact that platformers just weren't much of a thing. Um, but like, I guess Little Big Planet was one of the last like mainstream platformers that was just sort of oh Jesus <laughs> uh, just a surprise. Um, I really like Little Big Planet. Yeah, it's... I do as well. Very much so. But it's filled with if you go on Little Big Planet, I'm not sure if you can even go on the online now. Uh, Little Big Planet Three still has online. Oh. It's not made by Media Molecule, it's made by Sumo Digital, but they oh. uh, they are good. I, I like them. Their, uh, their newest game for PS4 and 5 is a 3D Sackboy game, and it is legitimately incredibly fun. Oh, I know the one. The I, I really like that. Sack Adventure. Another one, another one. I think it's, yeah, a yeah. big adventure or something. Um, Should have been called a little big adventure, but whatever. Yeah, like... Because the first game, all you'd get now... Like every level, every other level was South Park bomb survival <laughs> because the cat, the South Park characters are so easy to make with the Little Big Planet materials. Like you could like replicate like all the characters in South Park really well. Yeah. With, like the felt and all stuff like that. It was easy. I played like Final Fantasy VII intro in Little Big Planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. Mad. I remember seeing that. <laughs> oh, um, those were the days. Yeah, I'm more on about like 3D like adventure games or like this, like Rayman 3, this Vex. What else? Mm. Um, well, Rayman. No, Rayman doesn't count because Rayman had loads of games. I'm talking about like the stuff that that's been forgotten. Yeah, I I don't know when it really died. I guess just around this era, like. Because the thing is, like, um, like, uh, stuff like Jack and Daxter changed because Grand Theft Auto came out and it changed the industry pretty much overnight. Yeah. And, and as such, companies were forced to be like, okay, we can't make this game. Like, this game is not going to do well for us anymore. Um, oh, you and know that... what? Another thing. Shooters. Like, mm. like... Shooters were like a dime a dozen. Like everyone was, everyone was making shooting. Get everyone was making like first person shooters. They were unavoidable. I, I, I think I can answer the the question to shooters why they're not as prominent anymore. Um, and I think the answer to that honestly is N Trilogy. People want platformers. Yeah, again. yeah. And and they they want they want retro classics um, remade, and it's it has succeeded um, in a way that. I think I think when the end trilogy was being made, I think everyone knew it would probably do well for anyone who loved Crash back in the day. But I don't but, think anyone quite expected it to blow up in the way that it has. Yeah, people were sick of first-person shooter games. They'd it they'd it taken them like years, but I think they finally caught on to like, you know, 
some guy saying go here go there like you don't want to be told what to do you just want to like you just want the bare essentials yeah and you know crash offers that and and it does it really well and you know it's a breath of fresh air to people who are not familiar with that sort of thing and it's uh, a breath of very welcome and very familiar air for people who, mm. who you know do remember that sort of thing like even i got i love shoot you know I, you know me i love half-life i love like i like shooting yeah. you know but like i got i got sick of it too yeah I, there I, were just I was so, so many sick of it yeah and you could argue that there are so many platformers but every platformer offers something different yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Are they like? Re re I respect yeah, him for me. coming back. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he he could have been like, you know what? No, this eggs pissed me off. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bother. But no, he, he kept going. I, I respect that.